We're going to review substitution and elimination reactions of alcohols. These are all reactions that you've already learned, although some of these reactions use reagents that you have probably not seen before, so they might look unfamiliar. The first reaction that we're going to review is the SN1 reaction. This reaction takes place between a secondary or tertiary alcohol and an HX molecule, like HBr, and it produces an alkyl halide. One thing that you need to keep in mind if you're looking at an SN1 reaction is that you want to remember that it does proceed via a carbocation, so you want to remember there's potential for carbocation rearrangement. We're not really going to draw a detailed mechanism for these reactions, but sometimes it's helpful to draw a pseudo mechanism, a partial mechanism, just to kind of, especially with an SN1 reaction where we have to deal with thinking about rearrangements, it's important to think about the carbocation that's being formed in the reaction. So I'm just kind of sketching out the mechanism here to take a look at the carbocation. You can see that it's tertiary, so that means I don't have to worry about any rearrangement taking place for this particular reaction. Um, it looks like actually I pretty much drew the whole entire mechanism for this one. Now we're going to look at the SN2 reaction. The SN2 reaction is going to take place between a primary alcohol and a molecule of HBr to produce an alkyl bromide or a primary alcohol in HCl with a catalyst ZnCl2. So this is one that kind of looks new because we have not seen the ZnCl2 catalyst before. This is a catalyst that's just specifically used for the SN2 reaction when you're using HCl as the reagent. Um, in these, there is no rearrangement in an SN2 reaction. So in these reactions, we are just literally replacing the OH group with the halogen. Another option for an SN2 reaction is to convert the OH group on a primary or secondary alcohol into a tosylate group using TSCl. Um, and then we can come along afterwards and react it with an, uh, a halogen like bromide or chloride. Remember this TSCl reagent is just simply a reagent that converts alcohol into a good leaving group. Pyridine is the solvent that's used for this. So if we wanna kind of look at this um, in a couple of steps, the first step, the TSCl reagent, just simply converts the alcohol into OTS. And then um, that is a very good leaving group. So this kind of gets around needing to convert the alcohol into a good leaving group like what we did up here. Here's another SN2 reaction using a reagent that we have not used before, primary or secondary alcohol reacting with SOCl2, thionyl chloride, produces an alkyl chloride. So this is just a magical reagent that simply replaces the OH group with a chlorine. And then we have another, what appears to be unfamiliar, but it's just another SN2 reaction using the reagent PBR3. This is a reagent that very easily converts the OH group into a bromide. We have a couple of elimination reactions, the E1 and the E2 reaction. The E1 reaction takes place between a tertiary alkyl halide and some sort of strong acid, like H2SO4, gives us alkene. This is gonna be one where we wanna kind of like sort of sketch out the mechanism a little bit because we are producing a carbocation intermediate. Um, and we want to look for possibilities of rearrangement. This is a tertiary carbocation, so we don't have any rearrangement. In addition to that, we also want to think about all of the different possibilities for elimination. Once we have identified our good carbocation, we're going to remember that elimination can take place in any direction coming from that positively charged carbon. So we have a lot of different products that we could make in this particular reaction, not a ton. Um, we also need to remember when we're looking for all possible alkene products, we have to remember to look for cis and trans products as well. And then last on our list, we have an E2 reaction. This is taking place between a primary alcohol or a secondary alcohol and a good base. We're going to need to convert that alcohol into a good leaving group using like tosyl chloride. Um, and then we can come along and do the E2 reaction. So the first step in this with the TSCL, this is just converting our alcohol into a good leaving group. 
And then the second step in this process is actually doing the elimination.